In this video, I'll show you how to find the equation of the tangent for a circle. The question reads, write in general form the equation of the tangent to the circle below at the given point 11 and 14 for the equation x minus 5 squared plus y minus 6 squared is equal to 100. The equation that we have here is currently in standard form. And when a circle equation is in standard form, you can easily identify the coordinates for the center of that circle. For instance, we have negative 5 here and negative 6 here. This means that our center for the circle is at positive 5 and positive 6. The reason why these coordinates are important is because we can use these coordinates for the center and the coordinates of P to find the slope of this line, which we'll call R. And once you find the slope of that line, the negative reciprocal of that slope will be the slope of the tangent line. And the tangent line is simply a line that passes through one point of the circle. For instance, the tangent line will look like this. The slope of the line R, which we'll denote as M, has the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This point is our first point and this is our second point. And it doesn't matter which one you call your first or your second, just as long as you're consistent. Now since I call this my second point, this will be my y2, this will be my x2, y1, and x1. Let's fill in these variables with these numbers. We end up with 14 minus 6 over 11 minus 5. 14 minus 6 is 8, 11 minus 5 is 6. This gives us 4 over 3. 4 over 3 is the slope of this line. And like I said earlier, to find the slope of this line, I need to take the negative reciprocal of this number. And to do that, I will flip this fraction and change its sign from currently positive to negative. Negative 3 over 4 will serve as the slope of this line. Now to construct an equation, and they want it in general form, you need to start off by writing out your equation of this line in slope y-intercept form, which looks like this. y is equal to mx plus b. m represents your slope, b represents the y-intercept. We can fill in the m with negative 3 over 4x plus b. We also need to find b. To find b, we substitute the point that they gave us, 11 and 14, into our x and into our y. Let me show you. 14 is equal to negative 3 over 4 times 11 plus b. Negative 3 times 11 is negative 33 over 4. 14 on the left side. Bringing this over, we end up with 14 minus 33 over 4, and that is equal to b. I'll use my calculator to evaluate the left side. 14 minus 33 over 4, and make sure that the fraction is in brackets. You end up with 23 over 4 as your y-intercept. And if we convert that into decimal, that's 5 decimal 7, 5. That being said, my equation will look like y is equal to negative 3 over 4x plus 5 decimal 7, 5, or you can write this as the fraction 23 over 4. They also want it in general form. General form means that all of the terms are on one side. The problem right now is that this y needs to be on the right side. If we bring it over, we end up with negative 3 over 4x minus y plus 5 decimal 7, 5. That is equal to 0. And that right there represents the general form equation of this tangent line that's in gray. And so there you have it. That is how to find the equation of the tangent line for a circle.